Hey, this is Mike. I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting Sparks Toyota, and I'm checking out a 2015 Scion TC. And I have a, I have a soft spot for two-door hatchbacks myself, four cylinders. Uh, as some of you might know, I drive a Acura RSX. But this one really, really impresses me. It's an automatic transmission, six-speed, 2.5-liter, four-cylinder. But let's go ahead and check it out. I'm going to show you everything I possibly can on this vehicle, so hang on tight. 18-inch aluminum wheels. Now, you're going to have to excuse the grass clippings. Uh, they were mowing the lawn right when I was getting the vehicle off the grass, so it got, it got some grass clippings on it, but you can overlook that. Really awesome, sporty-looking aluminum wheels. 18-inch. It has a combination of gray and then the aluminum popping through. So it has four-wheel disc brakes, but the front rotors are ventilated. So I don't know if you can see that. And they're pretty good thick, pretty good size. Give you a profile shot. Now I just want to mention that the, uh, the, the dealer has tinted the windows. So that doesn't come from the factory with the tinted windows. But most people in this area do tint their windows. So they go ahead and do that for the customer before they even get it. So let's take a look here in the front. Now this vehicle has projector, halogen projector headlights here in the front. And the daytime running lights down here. LED turn signals. And check out that grill. Now the color is, ab is called absolutely red. And then you have the combination of red and black is really cool. So the grill is all black and is a pretty good size. Kind of stands out. You can kind of notice it coming down the road. The grill to me stands out and then the rest of the car, especially with the tinted windows, looks awesome. Has a panoramic sunroof or a dual pane sunroof. Excellent size on the door. Uh, it's really easy to get in and out of this vehicle front or back really considering I'll show you that in a second, but check out the inside of the door. You've got the soft of the touch fabric there it has this plastic accent here on the top three speakers. Look at that three speakers there on the door low mids and highs has a premium pioneer sound system. Plenty of legroom. This one has cloth seats with sig pretty significant bolsters here on the side, but not too bad. Not as far, not really intrusive or anything. They do kind of give, uh, they kind of flex in and out. And look at that legroom. Let's check out the lockable glove compartment. Plastic interior, pretty good size, but nothing really special there. So let's go ahead and look here in the back. Because this, I was pretty impressed with the back seat. The overall getting in and out, you have lots of room. I mean, seriously. Getting in and out of the back, and then you have the bolstered seats there. It's contoured. Speakers there on the sides, cup holders. For a vehicle of this size, I was really, I'm still impressed with the, the back seats, the leg room. And even with the seat in his position there, you can see it has a um, significant amount of legroom. Let's take a look at the back. It has the LED taillights. Then you've got that black center portion that kind of matches the front. Single exhaust here with a chrome tip on the end of it. So to open up the hatchback there's just a little soft button under here you just push it as long as the vehicle is unlocked and it'll lift right up and check it out hatchback gives you plenty of room here in the back to access stuff and the seats do fold down in case you need to have some extra cargo space but you got some side pockets there tie downs there a little light and under here you can find a spare tire. You do have some other storage options around the spare tire. 
and some vehicles do not come with a spare tire so definitely want to make sure that you're aware of you have a spare tire or not because some cars don't have it some tires some cars just give you an inflator kit now just a little trivia here anybody tell me what this is in the comments just for fun so putting the seats down is real easy you just lift this latch and just kind of give it a little bit of a shove and it goes down like so so it's a 60 40 split so you can have a combination combination of passenger space and cargo space and it does have the latch system for car seats so you have the anchors and all that so let's take a look at the fuel door it's on the driver's side which is very convenient so here it is and you have this cap with a little tether and uh, that keeps you from losing the cap but you don't want to let it dangle down and scratch your paint so they have this little holder for it isn't that cool keeps it out of the way keeps it from scratching your paint and just really cool tighten it to click and then you're good to go so here's the key and you can lock and unlock the door and then you have a little panic button there but it doesn't have any remote start so just to start it um, it's just pretty simple you put it in and turn it just traditionally Okay, so let's take a look under the hood. So to open the hood, uh, you just reach here just a little bit to the right of the Scion symbol and there's a little lat latch a few inches in on the top. You just lift it up. It's right there. So there is, and it's actually not covered up with plastic, which that's very pleasing to me. It's a 2.5 liter, four cylinder engine as 179 horsepower pretty awesome that's a lot of horsepower that's a lot more than mine my car pretty smooth but yeah I like the way I like the way you can actually see some engine some metal when you lift the hood so the 2015 Scion TC has McPherson struts here in the front and double wishbone suspension there in the back. So here we are on the inside. Really like the comfortable seats and the way my knees have plenty of room, my legs have plenty of room. There's a place for my left foot to rest. It's on carpet though. It would be nice if it had like a well I guess if you put like some weather tech mats or rubber mats in there maybe that'll cover that up. But anyways, sweet interior. The dash has like a little bit of a rubber feel and so does this center of the steering wheel. And then you have like a, I guess it's similar to a um, carbon fiber uh, look here, some kind of metallic look here in the center. So let's get, go ahead and start here on the driver's door. You have that metallic texture surface here on the on the door and then you have the handle it's in a perfect position power windows uh the driver's side is automatic one touch and look how fast it goes up and down it's quick really like that so there's your door lock controls and you can lock out the other other side um, from rolling up the window up and down even from this side so that way uh, you, if you do have kids or something and you don't want them playing around with the window uh, you can lock that side if you want to do that then of course you have the the three speakers here in the front on the door just like the other side and the place to put a bottle there and the manual adjustments on the seat but you can raise and lower the seat so get you can get that position that you want so here on the left side you can of the steering column you can adjust your side mirrors by picking a side and then adjusting it with this pad So here's the steering wheel, leather wrapped, and it has little perforations there, but check it out. It's got the flat bottom steering wheel, really sporty looking, 
and comfortable extremely comfortable two reasons one is the just the feel of the leather on the steering wheel is just there's something about it that just has a really good grippy comfortable feel quality feeling but also the thickness of the steering wheel so a real thick steering wheel not only can you get a good handle on it but it doesn't dig into your hand um, it just has like a you know just very comfortable plus you have these little bolsters here to give you a little bit of a control there so you have your volume for your radio here on the on the steering wheel and then you can change through uh, your presets on your radio as well and then you have mode which will be uh, cycling through AM FM and Bluetooth audio or different different sources of audio there and check it out paddle shifters there on the back of the steering wheel that you can cycle through all the six gear ratios manually if you want to do that and then here is your cruise control uh, you just have to make sure it's turned on by pushing that button there and you'll have a little green indicator letting you know that it is turned on there and once it's turned on you can set it by pulling it down you can adjust your speed by going up and down you can resume by going up and you can cancel by pulling it in so here's the gauges but before I show you that uh, here's your wind uh, headlight controls right there and turn signal of course and then there's your windshield wiper controls so let's get back to the gauges you have your rpms here on the left and i like the way it has like an orange background with the black i mean the orange lettering with the black background it really accents everything it pops out so you can easily see it especially at night so so you've got that metallic dials accenting the black which is pretty cool so rpms there on the left your fuel gauge is there in the center and you'll notice the little fuel pump and the fuel gauge has a little arrow pointing to the left showing you which side your fuel door is on and then your speedometer goes up to 140 that's pretty cool got a digital clock here there's your four-way flashers and you can adjust a clock real easy with the little buttons there and here's the radio it's a touch screen CD player made by Pioneer and you have the volume knob tuned through the stations there and so right now we're in the FM and you can see the presets there on the left it does have HD radio too when available and hit the, you can hit the source and you can cycle through uh, different sources that you have available or you can hit all and it'll kind of give you the screen now if it's not available um, right now it's going to kind of leave it left out so you can see some of them are blank so AM FM and Bluetooth audio is available right now of course I don't have a phone paired but if you do have one if you did if you did have one paired uh, you can uh, play music wirelessly right off of your Bluetooth device like your phone so also it has USB auxiliary and CD those are the ones that are blacked out so pretty cool radio state radio that they have here okay so here's your climate control um, pretty simple is there's your temperature your fan speed and where you want the air to blow it's pretty basic but pretty neat looking the three dials so down here we have a pretty neat little storage pocket you can put different things and you have a 12 volt power supply there to the right and then you have your USB and auxiliary inputs under this little cover and your traction control you can turn that off if you want to uh, default is on but really the only reason why you'd want to turn off the traction control is if you're stuck in the snow or something like that so let's take a look at the auxiliary and USB so there that's what it looks like under the cover okay so here's your shifter and this is a pretty cool thing uh, shifter the way it feels it has this little indentation on the back of the shifter and then up here is kind of like a rubbery feel with the uh, little dimples in it but I'm gonna go ahead and cycle it through there's reverse neutral and then there's drive so this is the normal drive position it'll cycle through all the six gear ratios on its own um, but if you wanted to cycle through the gear ratios yourself like a manually you can slide it over here to the S which is like a sport mode and you can ratchet shifter you can use it as a ratchet shifter and change through the gears and you'll know what gear you're in because it'll show you here so first second third fourth fifth sixth 
you can do it that way or you can use the paddle shifters on the steering wheel whichever you like best so you can cycle through isn't that cool and at any time you want to go back into a, like an automatic mode you just slide it right back there to drive and it will pick up right where you left off and, and resume shifting gears for you there's your parking brake and then you have your cup holders and it's separated by an empty space so you can put other things in there besides cups which I like cell phones different things and then you have this cloth covered armrest and it lifts up and you have a little storage cubby in here so you can put some stuff in there and clutter it up if you want to okay so the rearview mirror has the day and night mode manual with the little flippy thing there on the bottom and the visor has a mirror there that slides same thing on the passenger side so up here uh, you can turn on the interior lights by pushing this button here to the right or you can put it to the left and it'll when the door opens the interior lights will turn on they kind of fade on and if you don't want the interior lights to turn on with the in, with the doors you can just turn that feature off by putting it here in the center okay so this one has a dual pane sunroof so you've got this uh, little one back here for the back seat drivers which is pretty cool and then of course it has a shade that covers it up so you also have this front one it opens up as well so you can have both of them up, of them open front one's much bigger than the back kind of helps out with you know just having fun but also claustrophobia in there in the back some people okay so you can bend it up like so you can also open it up all the way that way you can get some airflow going and you see it pops up And you can always close it up. And if you too much light, you can always close the shade, which blocks 100% of the light. Same thing with the back. All right, so let's take a look at the back, to see what the visibility. Of course, it's a hatchback, so you're gonna have pretty significant visibility back there. And you got the little blind spot windows there. right okay so what do you think the real question is should I trade my car in on it let me know in the comments do you think this car is something that that would be worthy of trading my Acura in on good question so if you could leave it in the comments answer that question also if you have any experience with a, a scion tc i'd really appreciate it put it in the comments as well maybe you're thinking about buying one or you maybe you took one for a test drive or you know somebody that has one leave it in the comments leave some information down there for future viewers of this video maybe it'll help them with their buying decisions or their shopping decisions and that's the whole point is to make something valuable for other people so thank you for watching and hopefully this video has been of some value to you and thank you for watching and thank you to sparks toyota scion in myrtle beach south carolina and i'll see you next time